What's up, bitch? The stain. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh my god, it feels so good to be sitting down in my beauty room and actually film. I know a lot of you guys are probably expecting me to do part two of my video that I did last week, but I decided that I'm fucking over it. I want to move forward. I want to move on. I want to be happy and I want to do what I love and that's fucking makeup. So that's why I'm not doing part two. Today's video is going to be a testing new ass makeup that came out while I was gone. Girl. I mean, there's no way I'm going to actually test out all this shit, but there's a lot of shit in here that I do want to test out because there's a lot of new things. <sighs> I feel so good being here. It feels so good to just feel emotionally, mentally, physically better, like in a good state of mind. It feels so amazing. <gasps> Let's try some new shit. I also have a concert to go to tonight. I'm gonna go see Drake. See Drizzy Drake, my baby daddy. I don't have a baby. <laughs> God's plan. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and let's start this fucking video. <laughs> gonna start off first with some primer. I don't have any new primer that I'm trying, so I'm gonna go with my go-to Tatcha Silk Canvas. I've used so much of this, it's not even funny. I'm taking this on a real Techniques brush, and I'm just blending it in. Anyway, oh, also, right here, I have a sty. I'm so prone to styes, you guys, and I know a lot of it has to do with like being really exhausted and tired all the time, which <laughs> I am. Hi, have you met me? Okay, anyway, so we're gonna go in with a foundation that I've been really wanting to try. This is the Beauty Blender Bounce liquid foundation. So of course this was like under a lot of scrutiny in the past because of their foundation shade range But I still wanted to try it out and give it my honest review because it is a very innovative packaging I think it's really 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 cool personally because you like literally pump it and it like disperts product And you like use your little beauty blender to just soak it on up. I don't have my I don't have a beauty blender on me right now So I'm using the real techniques one, but I've heard really good things about this and I've been really intrigued. Yeah. Okay, you do this, pop this bitch out. It is one flow down. Most foundations are. It's a liquid whip long wear foundation. Liquid whip, and everyone's saying that it's full coverage. Ah! So we're gonna go ahead and try that on. I'm gonna mix the shade 1.6 and a little bit of 310. Cause I love I love this. I love that. It is definitely a very thick, liquidy, whipped consistency it's not thin by any means it's a little bit thicker but it doesn't feel heavy the coverage is like actually stunning it's like full coverage i would say a nice full coverage it doesn't give you a full matte finish it almost gives you a like dewy finish let's see how it dries down first this is what it looks like right there it's almost like a natural full coverage if that makes any sense at all let me show you guys okay it's a little dark fuck it i'm going to a concert i want to look tan I want all the vatos to be looking my way and be like, damn, fool, you're hella thin. You girls need a ride? So this is half the face, with it on half the face so far. That just covered a truck. Yeah. But I've honestly been living for my skin recently. Like, it's not been bad. You know, it's not been bad. But anyway, how have you guys been? I have missed you oh, so fucking much, man. I've missed you guys so much. If this makeup turns out okay, maybe I'll wear it to the concert. Okay, so so far, the amount I've used, I've used like four full pumps for the whole face. Mind you, my face is larger than most. It's larger than most. But um, that's how much I use, just so you guys are aware of the amount. And it honestly looks so fucking good. Holy shit. And it's not like falling into the fine lines or wrinkles. It's covering nicely. Give me a mirror. Fuck, that's beautiful. Like, it gives you like this natural finish, but yet it's so full coverage. I'm kind of living the fantasy here. But I will say, of course, I think that they need to expand on their shade range. I don't think that there's enough shades. Truly, I do think that it is quite a beautiful foundation. Wow, now we just need some more shades. Come on, Beauty Blender. I know y'all can do it, I know you can. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with some concealer and I've been so fucking excited. This is the new Overachiever Concealer by Huda Beauty. And I got this package in the mail. I've heard literally nothing but good things from it. Nothing but good. I don't know what the fuck would be my shade. I'm so bad at picking concealer shades. Have you guys ever been like that where you're just like, I don't fucking know. Like, I don't know. Pick for me. Cotton candy 8B. What does 8B mean? I can't go with too light. What if there's flash photography? Okay, let's go with maybe a neutral. But I think that the shade range is actually really nice. Like, there's a lot of shades in here. Like, a lot of really deep, deep complexion shades as well. So I think that they actually did a really, really good job so far. Okay, we're gonna go in with meringue, just to see how light it actually is. Okay, I think that's a little light. <laughs> let's mix it with nougat, which is... What the fuck's nougat? Is that like a, um... Is that like a flavor? That's a little too yellow, but we're gonna, we're gonna stick with meringue! Okay, we're gonna put this on, and I'm just really curious to see how this, like, blends out. I'm very intrigued. This has, like, a metal tip. Which is like really nice because it, it's very, very cooling. It's very cold. And that's going to give you a little bit of a deep puffing effect, which is really nice. Like they thought of that, I think that's really awesome. For powder, I'm busting out the milk 
new powder they just came out with. Blur and set. These make me violent. Let's blend this out and see how it looks. I just want to see one side to see what it looks like so we can compare to the, the other side. Okay, so we're putting this on. Holy shit! When they said overachiever, they were not kidding. They said, I want extra credit and I want to be the fucking, uh, the teacher's assistant overachiever, bitch. Holy shit, you guys, this is really nice. The consistency is beautiful. It's like a little bit thicker. It's definitely a thicker consistency, but it covers like a fucking dream. Woo! So we're just going to use meringue, which is shade number four. A little bit right here. This is brightening everything up a little bit. Wow. And my color. You guys, I'm literally a drag queen right now. Like this coverage is not a joke. They are not playing when they said, let's really overachieve. Whoever thought of that over at Huda Beauty, Huda, at Huda Beauty, great fucking name. So now we're taking that milk powder, I'm very intrigued. Let's try this out. Very lightweight. You guys, so far, this is like a really great first impressions right now. Cause it's kind of like a first impression. I haven't tried any of these things at all. Putting that milk powder on my nose as well, by the way. When they said matte powder, they were not kidding. This is matte as a mother. I'm never gonna love again. It's also like a little bit pinky. I don't know if you guys noticing my face is slightly oxidizing a little bit more pink with the powder. Random. Did not expect that, but it's a little bit pinky. This is the light powder. There's three shades. Medium light and dark, I believe. But honestly, the powder is stunning. If you're super dry, I have no idea how this is gonna work. I mean, it is more of a matte powder. So I'll just be aware of that if you have drier consistency of skin. But for oily people like me, who you know after about an hour could cook an egg on the grease of your face in the boiling sun. Holy shit, I am matte. Look at my skin. Do you guys see how matte my skin is right now? Okay, so far, actually so fucking good dude. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and go in with some bronzing and quantum. What the fuck? What the fuck? We have the new Tarte pineapple palette. I don't, there's no name on here. On the back, there's nothing. And uh, we're gonna use that. So it's an actual palette. So I have to admit, this is fucking cool. Like it's innovative. I think it's very weird. I'm not gonna lie. But the color section itself is actually really nice. Like I think that's a very usable, wearable palette. And it comes with blushes, Good job, Tarte. I think it's fucking random. I'm not gonna lie. We're gonna use this new thing from MAC. I've never seen this before either. This is the Sculpt and Shape Contour Palette, the light medium version. So I'm gonna take this and we're gonna sculpt the fuck out of our faces. For brushes, you guys, today I'm gonna be taking the new Jaclyn Hill Morphe brushes. I've used a couple of them, the couple that I won so far, and I think they're very, very, very nice. So I wanted to try a couple more of them out, like the face ones, and just see what I think about them. The eye ones were really, really great. So let's see. The face one, we're gonna take the middle shade right here, Sculpt. This is something that MAC already has, by the way, you guys. This is, These are like their powders. Like they have like sculpting powders that they've had for a long time. I've loved Emphasize for a very long time. So we're just, you know, contouring the shit out of our cheeks. On this brush, this is the JH05. There is a little bit of shedding, but I didn't wash this brush before I used it. Usually when you get a new pack of brushes, there's a little bit of shedding in the beginning if you don't wash them, but there's a little bit of shedding on this. Just want to give you the heads the fuck up. This color is fucking sickening. Oh my God. So I'm packing on and then blending upwards. And I think that this looks really fucking good. It's a little cool. I might need to do a bronzer. I don't really have any of the bronzer that I really like. I'm like, bitch, yes, let me try that. We're gonna take Tantastic. I can always depend on Miss Mark to come the fuck through. I'm taking the JH02 brush for this one. This one I've used before, had no shedding whatsoever. And I just feel like it's a really nice brush for bronzering. Bronzing? Bronzering? What the fuck? I'm illiterate! Yay! I love school! I'm just bronzing up a little bit the cheeks, like, over the contour, because it's a little deadly. Oh my god. I'm sickening. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, how have you guys been? How the fuck have you been? I hope you guys have been fantastic. Okay, so I'm gonna take this little Tarte blush on Jacqueline's 04 brush. Holy shit! They said, let there be pigment on the seventh day. Fuck! Wow, that's really bright. And I use this shade, by the way, right here. It's much looser than the normal Tarte blushes. I'm very used to Tarte's blushes being very compact and hard, and like you like swirl, 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 you put it on, and it's like great, the 24 hour blushes. I love those so much. But this one's a lot looser. It's a lot more powdery, if that makes any sense. The color itself is really pretty, but be careful with the amount you put on because it is very pigmented, almost like where I was a little bit overwhelmed. 
I'm overwhelmed. Like, I'm overwhelmed. And I dusted it off too. Fuck. Okay. Well, anyway, the color stuff is pretty. It's blending nicely. There's no splotchy areas or anything like that. So that's really good. I mean, I live for blush. Let's not lie. Let's not tell some fairy tales and fallacies up in this piece. I've been doing this a lot lately where I've been just dusting a little bit of blush on the forehead, just whatever I have left on the brush itself to kind of just marry the whole thing. I just feel like it looks really pretty and soft. And honestly, you guys, tip and trick of the trade. Usually like when you have a really pinky blush on the face, it makes it look like you're wearing less makeup because it looks like you're like natural skin, like the redness from your natural skin is peeking through and you're like, oh my God, there's like no makeup on my skin. It, this is like how I woke up. Okay guys, what do we think of the face so far? There's a lot of blush on. Okay, so um, these are the three. Let me just swatch some of the blushes because I want to show you guys what they look like. So this one is, they're really, really powdery. Really like shockingly creamy. I'm just not used to that from Tarte, to be honest. Let me show you guys what it looks like. So these are the four, a little bit patchy on the bronzer, but it's a fucking, it's a finger swatch. Like it's not like, mm. anyway, the blush looks really great. It blended really nicely. Way more pigmented than I thought. Okay, so now what are we gonna go in with next? We need to go in with highlighter. Highlighters, we have the new Desi and Katie Dos of Colors collaboration, the Fuego and Chasing the Sun. I believe Fuego they already had came out with previously and Chasing the Sun is the new shade. So it means to see which one actually will work with my complexion. So we have Chasing the Sun, which is a, you can see right there, it's a deeper gold. Mm. That is not my shade. And then we have Fuego, which is a much, much lighter gold, that one right there. So I'm gonna have to go in with Fuego because Chasing the Sun is too deep for me, like for sure, for sure. And that is not the luck. Taking Jacqueline's highlighting brush from Morphe. So far so good on these brushes, guys. The only one I've had a little bit of issue with was that contour brush because it had a little bit of shedding. But other than that, the other ones have been really nice. So this is Fuego. <gasps> that texture though, like that looks wet. Like that is eh. By the way, you guys, so the creamier highlighters, I tend to go in with brushes like this because they're a little bit more compact and they pick up easier when it comes to the creams. I think the powderier highlighters are better with like a fan brush, but these kind, like when they're really dense, a dense highlighter, I like to pick up these because I feel like it picks up a lot better than like a fan brush would. Just saying. This is a really nice highlighting brush. It reminds me of like the other Morphe ones that they have. They already have, you know, little ones like this. So if you guys don't have one, great. This is a great alternative. If you do, you definitely don't need to grab this one, but it's a really, 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 really nice brush and highlighter. Mm -hmm. Who's that girl? So the face is done, you guys. Honestly, so far, so fucking good. Like, I really, really like how my face turned out, you guys. Mind you, does it look like I'm wearing a mask and I'm full covered? Yes. Okay, so now we're gonna go in. I'm gonna do my brows off of camera because I don't have any new brow products to try out. So, for now, brows off of camera and I'll be right back. Who's seen Broad City? Have you guys ever watched the show Broad City? It's fucking great. It's fucking great, dude. I just started it. It's so funny. Alana. I don't know where my underwear goes. That's why I'm always going commando. Okay guys, so the brows are done and I primed the eyes. The brows are just really chill. I'm like really into like this fluffy brow moment right now. Nothing too crazy, too carved out. I just wanna keep it really chill and natural and like hella flowy. Okay guys, so for the eyes, I wanna go in with the Desi and Katie eyeshadow palette. I saw this palette online and I gagged because I thought it was so pretty. Like it's just gorgeous and I wanna use that blue today. So it's 10 shades for $55. I think that's a pretty steep price point. I'm not gonna lie. I think it's a bit expensive, but I think it's because a dose of color sells these individual shadows for about 20 bucks. Technically you are getting a really like good deal because Dose has like those individual shadows for like 20 bucks or something like wild like that. So I'm like, you know what? If we can get a couple on a palette for 55, that's fucking sickening. Let's see how the actual quality works. I have not tried them myself yet. I'm going in with the brush right now. I'm taking the Jaclyn uh, 30 brush. It's like a fluffy eyeshader brush. Let's see how this one works. And I'm gonna go in with the shade Necessary. It's like a transition brown, which is necessary for a palette. Desi and Katie, you guys are fucking so smart. Okay, so putting it on, it's extremely, extremely pigmented right away. Like, holy shit. <laughs> I wasn't ready. So I'm just gonna do a pretty much like a blown out smoky eye, I think. I'm just gonna blow it all the way up to my brow. But so far so good. Nice, pretty transition shade. This actually went on a lot darker than I was expecting. This is the shade right here, and this is how it looks on my skin. I just didn't know it was gonna look as dark as it does on my eye, because of how it looks in the pan. It's like, oh, it's like a really soft color. <laughs> So I'm just gonna go ahead and blow this out to Jesus, honey. We're gonna bring it out to Jesus. But it blends so easily and so nicely. The quality of those shadows in general are just so nice. Okay, let's take the JH35 brush. Oh my God, it's so nice and big. We did, fuck. This is in the shade Churro. I'm gonna go ahead and say Churro, this one right here in the brown. 
Okay, we're gonna pack that on the outer corner. Just a deepened outer corner a little bit, and I'm just going, and I'm pressing it on, and then I'll blend after, but I'm just pressing it on for now, just to see what it looks like, and it looks really nice. As you can see, the darker brown is right here, and we are blending her into the softer brown. By the way, guys, these shades are extremely, extremely pigmented, so I'm gonna go and tell you right now, do not go in too heavy with the brush, because it will pick up too much product, and it'll be a lot harder to blend later on. And these also, on me, go on darker than I thought they would in the pan it was just something i wasn't expecting like even this shade right here it looks like a like just like warm chocolatey brown but on my skin it's going on a lot deeper it's not a bad thing obviously and it's still super fucking pretty i just wasn't expecting it so just beware be prepared oh my god i just saw the live action sneak peek of aladdin and i almost shat myself because it looks so good. I loved Aladdin. Aladdin was such a little bad boy. I was like, you got me fucked up, Aladdin. You gotta abu this bitch, you know what I mean? Like, it was... Aladdin is that bitch. I lived for him. I still do. But but technically, my favorite prince is still Prince Eric because he is perfection. My left eye is blending, blending better than my right. Oh my god. What is wrong with my fucking saggy ass eye? Fucking 27 going on Crypt Keeper over here. Well, I think it's a good look for you. With these saggy ass lids. God damn. Anyway, I'm gonna go in with a moment, which is the blue. It's just so fucking pretty, fuck. This is the color that I was like gagging over. And I'm going in with my finger with this shade, you guys. I just think that with these kind of shades, just go in with your fucking finger, man. Just do it because they, this one has like micro in it, which is like a really fine glitter. It's very, very, very tiny. It's a very, very, very small amount of glitter. And when you go in with the brush, it's just not the same effect. And it's a lot more fallout. And I've come to realize that as I've been creating makeup myself, that it's like, oh, go with the fucking finger. And I'm just pressing softly, because honestly, as you lightly press, it kind of blends itself as you lightly press between the transition and the lid. Just lightly pressing, pressing, pressing. This really helps for me when I'm doing these kind of like glittery looks or something like too, like very intense. It's a purple blue reflex. It's fucking amazing is what it is. So we're going to go ahead and do the bottom eye. We're going to smoke it out. Taking this little Jaclyn pencil brush. These shades are so pigmented, dude. When I say take a little, I mean take a little, honey. You know what? We're gonna wing this fucker out, is what we're gonna do. Oh, bitch, that's looking so much more sickening. Okay, much better. I was scared for a moment, I'm not gonna lie, I was scared, but I'm, I'm happy now. Okay, I'm gonna go finish the other eye off of camera and I'm, I'm going to apply some eyeliner and mascara and then I'm gonna apply some lashes, which I'm gonna be taking the new Lily Lashes in the style MILF. And I just. <laughs> I just wanted to show you guys these fucking lashes because there's a titty squirting milk out. Just remember that. Okay, y'all, so the mill flashes did not work out, so I ended up just doing a pair of Miamis, and then I cut the mill flashes and I made them individuals to add on top to make them a little bit more dramatic, a little more flary. Do you see? Do you see? Anyway, I just want to do a little custom pair of lashes because I thought it would go well with this kind of look because everything's kind of pulled out. It's a little more drag. It's a little more like... You know, it's a little bit like that. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go in with the lip and we're going to be finished. Oh my gosh, yay. This look is turning out so pretty. I'm so proud of it. Now we're gonna go in with the lip and we'll be done. I wanted to talk about this really quickly because I'm so, 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 so excited for Colleen Ballinger. She's another YouTuber. She's also Miranda Sings. And she came out with her own lipsticks. It's just so fucking cool. Wait, let me see. Like, are you kidding me? There's a Miranda lipstick and then there's a Colleen lipstick. We have Daisy May and Miranda Red. And I'm just... So excited for Colleen, and I just think it's amazing, and I think you guys should definitely, definitely go out and support and send her some love. Colleen is one of the coolest people I've ever met on YouTube, ever. I've glammed her. We've done claps before as Miranda, as Colleen. Like, she truly is such a wonderful person, inside and out, and she's just beautiful. Like, she truly is, and congratulations again on your pregnancy, Colleen. Those babies are so lucky to have a mom like you because you are truly, like, a class act. I can't even say that enough. You are amazing. But I want to use the shade Daisy May, which is, like, more of a neutral shade. I didn't want to go with the red with this look because I'm like, girl. This is the packaging of the Daisy May shade right here, and then this is the... <laughs> Miranda Red. It's just so cute because it's like what Miranda wears like this. I love it. Okay, we're gonna take Daisy May. It's like a mauve pink. And then we have Miranda Red. Let me just watch it for you guys so you guys can see itself. If you guys want to be Miranda Sings for Halloween, get this red lipstick because it's literally the Miranda Red. It's perfect. And they're both a satin finish. They're not matte. Um, they're both a satin finish. So I just want to let you guys know that real quick. Um, let's go ahead and apply some of this on. I don't think this lip really goes with my look, so I'm not gonna wear it out tonight. But I wanted to try it on for you guys. 
Okay, there's no fragrance, which is fine. You know, it's better than early strong fragrance. It's like a really pretty pinky mauve. As I said, it's a satin finish. <gasps> Did you see that shit right there? I bit my fucking lip when I was eating too aggressively. Okay, guys, again, so this is Daisy May right here. It's a very, very pretty, just neutral pinky mauve shade. Satin, super, super comfortable, not sticky whatsoever. I really like it. But um, yeah, so this is the shade right here. I'm not gonna end up wearing this shade out and about because it just doesn't go with the look. But yeah. So this is Daisy May right here. Miss Daisy came to fucking slay, honey. So this is it, you guys. This is the final look using all these new goodies. I really like how this look turned out, honestly. Like this eye though. I'm really, really into like a bold eye and a neutral lip. That's just like my go-to signature, what I like to do. Like, I just love it. I, these lashes though, I love it. But anyways, you guys, this is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had so much fun creating this, you guys. I was honestly, it's so fun to just get back into play with makeup and just doing something that I truly, truly love. And all these products worked so nicely. There was nothing that I was like, fuck, that's rough. Like, there was literally nothing that I felt that about, which makes me so, so, so happy. I feel like every time I do one of these videos, I should just, like, do, like, a top two products that I think you guys should definitely, definitely buy that are really, really worth your money. And my two in this video are going to be the Overachiever Concealer and the Desi and Katie Palette. Those are the two that I'm like, wow, those, like, spoke to me and blew me away. I loved it. I loved doing this. I hope you guys had fun watching. I had so much fun creating this video for you guys. You guys have no idea how much I've missed this and how much I've missed just sitting the fuck down and chilling and just talking with you guys and just being present with you and just having fucking fun. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. As always, have a great rest of the night or day wherever you guys are. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye. I love you so much. And if you guys like this video, give it a like. Thumbs up. What is up, you guys? Okay, I remember to check in. That is a kiss from one of my followers who's recognized me at the concert. Anyway, it is, it's midnight, and I'm fucking tired. But I just wanted to show you guys really quickly how my makeup held up throughout the night. So I touched up one time with my MAC Studio Fix powder. I blotted once, and that's it. I've had the makeup on for about almost eight, mm, seven hours now. And so this is how everything held up. The eyeshadow still looks amazing. I mean, I'm oily as fuck. Obviously, you can see the grease on the skin, but I would say the, the foundation still held up really nicely after seven hours of wear. You know, it's missing in the nose areas a little bit right there, but I think it still looks so nice. But anyway, I have to, I have to say, I just wanted to let you guys know it's a little check-in that um, it looks sickening, and I'm really, really, really pleased with how everything turned out on the face. It looks bomb. You know what else is really nice? Oh! Oh! Oh my god, that made my eyes water. <laughs> Win. Oh my god, my fucking candles are on? I just had a vision. Like, I had a vision that my room got set on fire. <laughs> that got dark. Okay. That's stunning. Mm-hmm. Gorge. I'm gonna have to definitely, you know... This is fucking cool, though. I have to admit, like, this is something I've never seen... Oh, we can see that pimple earlier? Honey, we're going to a concert, let's not.